Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and today we are going to discuss about the file share storage. So in the last video, we have discussed about the blob storage. So if you haven't watched last two videos of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch those videos before going forward. So let's get started about the file share. So basically inside the file share, it can store any type of file that could be the PDF file or the Excel file or the text file or any kind of file we can store inside the cloud. So and here we can also mount it the concurrent by cloud or on-premises deployments for Windows, Linux or Micos. Azure file server can be cached on Windows server with the Azure file synchronizer for the fast access. So if we want to use this as a fast access, then we can also use this option. So as in the right side, you can see we are having the file storage. So this is the file storage and below of that we have to create the share first. So inside the file storage, we have to create the share and inside the share, we can create the files or folders. So the files or folders can be multiple inside the share. So this is the sequence that we can say first will be the file storage and inside the file storage we need to create the shares and inside the shares we can create the files and folders. So go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical. So this is the Azure portal. If you are continuous watching our video, then we have created this storage that is SSU testing. So let me click on this and inside this, if we can scroll a little bit down here, we can see the file share option under the data storage. So the containers that we have already covered in this video, we are going to see about the file shares. So let me click on that and inside the file share, as we can see, we did not create any file share yet. So first we have to create the share. So here you can see the plus symbol with the file share. We can click on that. So it will be going to ask for the new file share. So we need to specify the name. So I'm going to call this as share one. And inside the tab, we can see the option for the hot or the transaction optimized or the cool. So I'm going to use by default option that is transaction optimized. And here we can see the maximum IO that is 1000 and after that we can see the other options that is the maximum capacity that could be the 5 TB and here we can see the large file share option that is disabled as of now. So let me click on the create. So it will create a new file share. So here we can see this share. So share one is created. Let me click on this. So under this here we can see in the top side for the upload. So by using this option, we can upload the files. So let me click on the upload. Here it is going to ask, can you please select the files? So let me select the file first. So here we can see this HTML file, then this doc file and this log file and this image file. So let me click on open. And here we can see the option override if file is already exist. So let me select this checkbox and click on open. So inside the uploading. So two, three and four. So all those files has been uploaded under this. If we can see right there. Second, we can also create any folder under this. So we can see this add directory option. Let me click on the add directory here. We can call this as SSU test and let me click on OK. So it will create a folder that you can see and under this folder, if you want to add the files, then again, we can see the option for the upload and add directory. So let me click on upload and here we want to select the file. So let me select the files here. Let me select HTML file and doc file only these two and click on open. Again, we can see the option for the override. So let me select this checkbox and click on upload. 
so these two files should be uploaded under this folder so as we can see here these two file has been uploaded now go back to the folder backside so we have created this folder and we have uploaded the file here and we have already uploaded the these four files here so this is for the file share and if we want to delete the file from here then we can also delete those files so here we can see the option for the delete share if we are going to delete this share so all the files those are available under this and the directory that we have created everything will be deleted so let me try to delete it so here we need to type the files here that is the share one to confirm so let me write the share one here and click on ok so it will be going to delete everything under this share that we can see successfully deleted storage file share let me go back to here and let me refresh this so we don't have any files here now because we have deleted everything so i hope guys you have understand how we can create the file shares and how we can upload the file under the shares so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video